Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sharnice and welcome to Simply Make Them. Today we're going to combine cooking and books into one video. Oh yes, you heard me. I have a special cool cookbook that I'm going to cook something for you guys. Some yummy chocolate chip cookies. So you're ready to see what I'm talking about and how to cook them and what they taste like and all that. Sit back, relax, and continue watching. But before you do, have on go down below and subscribe if you really want to. And also, sometimes throughout this video, give me a like as well. But other than that, let's get started with this video. So, I was introduced to this book right here. It is called The Happy Ever After Cookbook Original Recipes for Book Lovers. Because of this cookbook right here, are different recipes that were in different books. So, it says right here Immerse yourself into the world of romance with book inspired recipes. Bestseller authors of your favorite novels teamed up with private chefs to develop original dishes. So, for example, I have a recipe that I want to try and maybe even do um, on the, a video for you guys. It's this yummy gumbo. And right here is the book where it came from. Sometimes it gives a little excerpts of where it talks about it, this particular dish in the book. And as well, a little excerpt from the author. So within this recipe, this awesome recipe book, there is appetizers and sides, soups, main dishes, desserts, cocktails, and bakery slash breakfast items. I thought this was really awesome, so I really wanted to make one of these recipes. So at first, I'm a dessert lover and I love my cookies, so I had to make the first dessert within this book, a chocolate chip cookie. So there's a couple chocolate chip cookies in this book from different books, but today I'm going to make these Oreo stuffed chocolate chip cookies. Those look so yummy. So the prep time is only 30 minutes, the cook time is 15, and it makes a good amount of cookies. So the ingredients, you need three cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of cornstarch, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of salt, one cup of unsalted butter at room temperature, a half a cup of pure cane sugar, one cup of light brown sugar, two eggs at room temperature, one and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract, three fourths cups of chocolate chips or how many your heart desires, and then you need about 20 Oreo cookies, so the instructions are pretty easy. These are just some awesome chocolate chip cookies. So let's get started with this. So step one is you want to combine all the white stuff, okay? So within the mixing bowl, you want to combine the flour, the cornstarch, the baking powder, baking soda, and salt, and kind of mix it all together. <laughs> get another bowl another large bowl you can use your electric mixer or you use your manual hand and you want to combine the butter the sugar and the brown sugar all together butter sugary mixture you want to add one egg at a time <laughs> Then 
Then you want to add the vanilla. to slowly add the dry ingredients, the white dry ingredients, into this buttery vanilla mixture now. the chocolate chips then you want to crumble up five Oreo cookies and the cookie batter you want to refrigerate it for 30 minutes I put it in, that, in the freezer for 15 because I did I was late and I didn't have that 30 minute time because you have to put it in the refrigerator again later so I put it in the freezer for 15 so you want to take a tablespoon and an Oreo I had the Oreo thins and you want to take a tablespoon a scoop some of that uh, cookie dough batter and put it on the bottom of the Oreo and then you want to turn the Oreo around and then put another tablespoon on top of the Oreo and should be fully covered of cookie dough with the Oreo in the middle. So you want to repeat this process for all the cookies or how many that you want like this. Shaking underneath, trying to take me alive. So you want to have your baking sheet, you can put parchment paper at the bottom or if you don't want it to stick, you want to just put a slightly coat of butter at the bottom to just like grease the pan. So you want to place the prepared Oreos on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper then chill for 30 minutes in the freezer. So I didn't have that much space in my freezer to put a whole baking sheet in. So I put the cookies onto a paper plate and put it in the freezer and let it chill that way. Beforehand, I should say in the beginning, you want to need to, need to preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And then once the cookies are out of the freezer and put it onto the baking sheet, I didn't have any parchment paper. So I just like greased the cookie sheets so they won't stick with some a little bit of butter. And then put them on the pan and put them in the oven for 15 minutes or until they brown and how you like them. Tell me now, what you gonna do? It says as well, once they're out of the oven, you can top the cookies with some more chocolate chips but I didn't think I needed it so I didn't do that step but here they are these cookies out of the oven are pretty darn looking good and they look amazing already so uh, let's taste how they are so I broke it apart and I didn't think the Oreo was gonna be intact and that was like amazement for me like the Oreo cookie was submerged into the cookie dough and left the icing in the middle it's just it was just really cool to see that stuffed oreo in the cookie i don't know why but it it did look really cool and the taste oh my god it just like upgraded a regular chocolate chip cookie why haven't i thought of this before to put an oreo in a chocolate chip cookie so these cookies are the best and these are really good this is a great idea these cookies i should have said in the beginning are from this book here from megan quinn the locker room right here and now I need to read this book. I am loving these cookies. You definitely need to you know, like make this recipe, get this book. These cookies are amazing. So you guys, how do you like this little cook video? Do you want me to do any more of these recipes? I have a lot of, of the recipes bookmarked that I want to do for you guys. If you want to see some more recipes from these amazing books, you need to like this video or comment down below. I would 
would really enjoy doing that. If you want to buy this book as well as on Amazon, you can get it right now for yourself as well. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. These cookies are good. You should make them. Other than that, thank you for stopping by and watching this video. Leave me a like down below if you like this video and like cookies and like chocolate chips and Oreos. <laughs> I'll catch you next week with another awesome video. Bye. Even now, you're coming up to me.